Mormuga Municipal Council Chairperson Leo Rodericks elected as Chairman of Vasco Carnival Committee as Carnival Celebration will be held from February 18 to 21 and Carnival Float Parade will be held on February 20th. Speaking to media, Leo Rodericks said that the committee decided to hold plastic-free carnival besides other cultural activities such as Konkani music and theater will be performed during the carnival. Carnival, I am the carnival. 1800 carnival is last day. I am changes plastic free Music and go on theatre, we bore it at him, go on any theatre, we bore it at him. We have the main answer. Preference for go on the store. Preference for go on the store. Free. I'm the carnival of pollution free and plastic free. Leo Carnival, government of Goa kit like the kids and discussion. So there, last time, I'm going to 20 legs delay. Eight times, I'm the committee member of the demand. That's what I'm the member of the demand. Carnival member of the demand. He am going to water in the chair party. So that's other thirty legs and demand with the Lekija. We slack on his idols, the Lit Salta, and budget am to Zaina. Budget am to Postna, budget a permanent. In the police of their Leo Amso chairman, Nunitun Kanda, and they have attended char vice chairman, the sir. First, um, Lavina de Souza, Angelo Nunes, Morgan Kutino, and myself, Yola Rego. The Jubran Secretary Amso Douglas Barreto and Assistant Secretary Loretta 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 No, Royston Rodericks and Treasurer Ralph Trindad and Joint Treasurer Loretta Barreto and the Jubran Amche Organizing Secretaries and Executive Members as well and the remaining Sogle members. From this time, we have decided that we are we, uh, as of now we are still not planned anything, but we are going to have another meeting. There we will be planning, deciding what exactly we are getting for the carnival. But we have decided that we are not not going to have anything Bollywood anything this time. It is going to be purely gold. Okay. For prime video journalist Shan Vasco.